Well, uh, the issue of what well, I speak in this presentation comes from an interest of developed a research line about the human brain response to restorative environments. Uh, some of the methodologies presented here are complementary and constitute an extension of a previous study published recently. Uh, according to Pearson, although psychophysiologists appreciate the power of changing physical context to influence human behavior and nothing hard aspects of the physical environment constant in the research, they do not typically focus on human environment transaction per se. Conversely, environmental psychologists and other environment and behavior researchers rarely use psychophysiology in their work. Uh, the study uh, of relationship between, between organist price transaction and physiological events, as proposed by the field of environmental psychophysiology, represents an opportunity to understand the biological basis of human needs that are relevant to all built uh, settings and all people. One of the most popular variables involved within the domain of human environmental transaction that promote the human well-being correspond to the concept of psychological restoration at its, and its environmental influence. We understand the concept of restorative environments like the one that can aid in recovery from directed attention uh, fatigue, e.g. E as proposed by, by the attention restoration theory, and stress. On the other hand, we refer to psychological restoration like the result of the recovery from an antecedent uh, deficit, stress, or attentional fatigue following the exposure to our restorative environment. Given this definition, I want to emphasize that our work focuses on the effect of exposure to, restor to restorative environments with two different restorative potential. Um, environments with high restorative potential include spectacular natural scenarios, some, some urban green areas, garden, etc. And environments with low restorative potential include urban built environments with nature, generally street views, house facades, and built seedings with maintenance. In both cases, the restorative qualities were estimated in other studies. The majority of previous research about psychological restoration has focused on psychological variables like concentration, emotion, well-being, and mood. However, besides psychological outcomes, there is a growing interest in investigating complex hair fronting effects of restorative environment by measuring a physiological indicator. As can be observed in Table 1, even though there are studies that document brainway activity resulting from natural and urban environment exposure, the neural mechanism associated with brain activity related to the psychological restoration process have not been identified. With the aim of explore and validate the neural basis of a psychological restoration process, we propose an fMRI methodology coupled with a tracking. In the present research, we evaluate the neural response toward an emotional and cognitive stressor, the antecedent uh, condition from which a, a, pers a person might restore, from which we expect to validate in an objective way that the subject were in a stress condition previous to the exposure to a restorative environment. In second place, uh, given the exploratory character of this study, no specific prediction were made toward the brain activation involved with exposure to, um, to environments with low and high restorative potential. Finally, we use fMRI coupled with the eye tracking technology to ask whether visual perception, saccades, and fixation differs between scenes that are highly restorative, for example, natural settings, and scenes that are less restorative, for example, urban settings with nature. More complex scenes require high effort or directed attention, e.g. urban chaotic settings, and high effort is associated with high fixation. On the other hand, natural scenes may offer a particular kind of stimulation that does not demand uh, direct attention or whether people view natural scenes with effort, for example, in a condition of fascination. So it was, expect, it's what is, was expected 
that build environments with low restorative potential will show a higher average of fixation than natural environments with high restorative potential. Um, saccadic eye movements uh, increase when concentration of attention becomes difficult. This supposes an opposite process to direct attention. If real environments are highly demanding of attention, and if natural environments offer a particular kind of stimulation that doesn't demand directed attention, then it could be expected that natural environments with high restorative potential will, evo will evoke a higher average of saccadic A movements, while environments with low restorative potential will show a lower average. 24 healthy right-handed voluntary male participants were recruited after all responded to an informant writer consent. The participants then were divided in two groups. In the first groups, the participants were exposed to a group of images with restorative with, uh, with environment, sorry, with high restorative potential. In the second groups, the volunteers were exposed with image with low restorative potential. Previous to enter the, the scanner environments, subject received instruction about the scanning procedure and the age tracker was calibrated for each participant. Prior to restorative environment presentation, all subjects were exposed to a deficit induction using almost five minutes of fragment for the documentary phase of death, phase of death number one. After, they were conducted to an exposure of one type of environment with different restorative potential, low or high restorative potential. During this condition, data for ocular movements was recorded. Brain functional connectivity analysis confirmed the successful stress induction considering the psychological stressor. It was observed neural networks related with the emotional deficit induction stress in this case. Some of them related with the limbic system or related to emotional process areas. Brain areas related to novelty seeking behavior exploration, spatial information, and awareness of emotionally charged stimuli were predominantly activated during the view of environments with high restorative potential. In the case of the category of low restorative environments, the results show brain areas activation related to approximation, evidence, emotion, episodic memory, visual attention processes, processing the geometric structure of real environment and organization of behavior. Significant uh, differences were found in, in the eye patterns during the view of environments with low and high restorative potential. Our finding report differences statistically significantly in saccadic A movements with lower values during the view of low restorative environments and higher values for environments with high restorative potential. Attributed eye patterns to environments with high restorative potential, saccades, are referred to exploration movements evoked by fascinated environment as suggested by the Kaplan's atten attention restoration, restoration theory. Participants did differ in how frequently they fixed on an aspect of the photograph. More fixation occurred during the view of, le of the low restorative environments, suggesting a major attentional effort during the visual process of this stimuli. Our findings support the validity of the deficit induction method and evidence the stress condition of the subject as prerequisite for promote a state of psychological restoration. By the other hand, Differential brain activation were reported to environments with high versus low restorative potential. The data, the data on the eye pattern movements are consistent with the literature about visual, atten visual attention and restorative environments. Most of the restorative environments studied in this research are outdoor, 
natural scenarios, which means considering the influence of vegetal elements in the design of pure settings. Uh, recent studies refer to the importance of pure scenarios uh, whose architectural qualities might have to be considered in future studies about the neural correlates of psychological restoration. Uh, the study of the neural correlates of restorative environment exposure represents a contribution to neuroarchitecture, which proposes a new discipline that units neuroscience with the experience of built environments. Under the focus of neuroarchitecture, research on the restorative environments means better understanding of the neural basis of environment transaction that promote the human well-being. Thank you.